Hi everyone, this is our Apostrophe. Let's continue our game of As Divine Hearts 2 on Nintendo Switch. Yeah. We didn't keep you waiting long. Are these them? And our sugar plums, uh, these ones are just lovely. With these, I should be able to bake a cake without any problems. I'll get to work on it right now. I'm sorry to, have, I'm sorry to have kept you waiting. With those four sugar plums you gathered for me, I was able to bake the cake I had hoped to. Please to say, my subjects were very grateful to receive the piece. That's nice and all, but aren't you forgetting somebody? Actually, I have your small cake right here. Baby, this looks yummy. Bon appetit to me. 
Jump, jump, jump. How about you not eat like a hog, Felix? <laughs> I'm happy to see you compl your companion enjoyed what I made so much. As for the rest of you, please allow me to give you these as a way to thank you for your kind service. Princess Annalise, you have a visitor. I do? I don't remember having any appointments today. Princess Annalise, I have received word you had something important to discuss with me. And... Prince Cedric? Huh? Have you all been summoned here too? What's going on here? Well, come now, your highness. It would only be polite to have the prince over for a piece of cake, would it not? Isn't that right, Prince Cedric? I see. So this is what was so important. I myself have been thinking it was ages since we sat down together over a bite. Now, may I ask if I am also welcome? Yes, of course. I have also set the table in the dining room, Princess Annalise. Would you prefer to sit down and have a conversation with Prince Cedric there? Yes, but why not have them join us too? Actually, we were just on our way out. Like she said, now, uh, now go enjoy some couple time without us getting in the way. Couple time? Please come this way, Your Highness. Yes, thank you. Please allow me to thank you again before I go, and I hope we will have some time to chat again in the future. That cake was absolutely delectable. There's cream all over Felix's mouth. I must wipe it off to save any embarrassment. Felix, allow me to... Hey, Felix, you look like Santa Claus with that cream on the... with that cream beard there. And what are you waiting for? Clean it off! Yeah, yeah. There is that kindness again. There you are, all cleaned up. What is would not give to have her face wiped? What I would not give to have her face wiped, I think? Uh, huh? What's up with you, Nadia? It is none of your concern. Now, with this issue resolved, let us return to our own quest. Uh, alright, whatever you say.
Find all stuffed animals you wanted. Hand over ten hands. Uh, head standing bears. What? That was quicker than grease lightning. Then again, I should have figured as much when it came to you, Zach. I have no doubt Jolie will be thrilled. Now I give you this for your troubles. Do you have any idea? If you have, if you had any idea. You would find them so fa if I had any idea you'd find them so fast, I would have asked you to find all the other thousands in the unit. Did you forget the terms of our agreement? Only the worlds you could actually travel to? Of course, I remember, but sometimes I can be a bit greedy. But as for these hands, hands, head standing bears, I'm about to deliver them to Jolie now. I hope you can work on finding more again another, in another time. But yeah, but yeah, I have a hard time talking about that.
thing is, I, I, I do so much damage, but it's still not good enough for that last boss. Colleen is just way too tough. She doesn't need to be that difficult. You know? I don't know what I'm missing. But I'm also not afraid of giving up if something is just unreasonable. You know, this is approaching it, that's for sure. The fact that I have to kind of go out of my way to get to the last, uh, uh, the true end. And that there's, there's so many places which I can't even get. 
get to yet because uh, the character's not strong enough. Or whatever. I don't, I don't know.
Jocelyn. What do you have to do to do damage to her? Oh, 
thing right there.
Best weapon she has.
Oh my god. Fuck that battle. Luna. 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 Ours? Why? I told you to stay away. I needed to end my life. Yes, you did. In fact, I was almost willing to grant you your wish. But you still don't get it, do you? Lars, when you told me your feelings, I was so happy. But at the same time, I felt an anxiety within. This power that dwells inside me and my inability to feel the same scenery as you. No matter how much I want to accept your proposal, I would never be normal. Fear being together with you would only bring you unhappiness. This joy and anxiety caused my heart to break. And before I knew it, I realized I could no longer control my powers. Oh, really? It was all your fault. Damn you, girl. And this time, I was the cause of much, of much sadness. Not only for you, Lars, but also for many others in the world. That's why... That's why you, you'd be better off if I... Luna, I didn't come all the way here to hear those words from your mouth. Now listen to me, because I'll only say this once. I'm not a perfect human being. And I have no way to guarantee your happiness or well-being, for that matter. I can only work hard not to make you cry, but I can't even promise that either. But, I swear I'll never make you regret your decision to choose me. I want to make a life together with you, Luna. So will you do the same and stick with me through thick and thin until the end of our lives? Lars, are you sure you really want me? There's no room for anybody else but you in my heart. Lars. Uh, yes. Uh, that's what I call love. This is what humans refer to as a proposal. Now I can understand why humans view this as being special. Will you all keep your remarks to yourselves? I'm glad for you, Lars. And you are so dashing, too. While I regret... While it's regrettable to say, I don't have any negative comments myself. Maybe I can use this scene in my next album. Hmm, Tears of Happiness moment. Will you all shut it and quit staring while you're at it? Wait, we still haven't resolved the most important issue. How are you going to help Luna deal with her magic going forward? That's right, isn't it? Things may have turned out alright this time, but with her magic being as strong as it is, it will need a contingency plan. In that case, I have an idea. An idea? Several days later, Mountain Hideaway. Now go ahead and try opening your eyes slowly. Huh. Luna, do you know who I am? Oh, the mailman, uh, Lars. Yes, and I can see you, too. I'm really glad for you. The source of your magic was removed and transferred to Felix and Nadia. And your eyes that were blinded due to the effects of it have now had their sight restored to them, along with Felix and Nadia having their own powers restored in the process. As simple a solution as it was, it sure took a lot of thinking to react, uh, reach that conclusion, didn't it? Hmm, <laughs> you can thank me for coming up with it. Ah, okay, good job, Felix. However, your magic will now be no different than any other human, perhaps even less. I also imagine it will take time to grow accustomed to living without your powers, as much of your previous life was centered around them. Yes, but given time, I believe I'll be fine. If anything, I have Lars here to help me. Indeed. Fortunately for us, no one knows it was Luna who was responsible for wrecking all the havoc in the world. Still, though, we can't go around pretending like it never happened, either and I believe it is best we find a way to donate to help rebuild those towns and lives that were ruined. I agree with that myself. Just a thought, but what do you? What day is today? Today? It's, a. Uh, oh no! T uh oh, tomorrow is the Star Festival. Tomorrow? I can't believe it's already that time again. Come on, everyone, we have no time to lose. We have to hurry and return to As the Fine. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. Will you be leaving so soon? I still haven't had a chance to properly thank you. Does this mean you're going to grill us some grill us up some fish? Zip it, Felix. It won't be long before sundown. I hate for us to have a run like this, but I wish you two a happy life together. Well, what about my grilled fish? Wait, Stella. You must be more gentle while putting down Felix's hopes. Unbelievable. At any rate, I should go. I should be going myself. Is there anything you'd like to me to tell the queen? No, but I appreciate the thought. My mother and I bid our farewells to each other two years ago. Yet, I believe even with being in different worlds, our thoughts somehow get through to each other. I see. Then I pray you two will be able to build those dreams you have together. Alright, I'm out of here myself. Take care. 
They have already gone, haven't they? Are you sad? A little. But as long as you're here, I'll be fine. The same goes for me with you being here. Gutenberg City, day of the Star Festival. Get your barbecued Gutenberg wieners while they're hot. Only a few left to sell. And through Alice's prayers, our world will save. The end. That bitch. Mayor Oliver, it's time to be returning to... Would you look at this exquisite hair ornament? I think I'll send this to Stella, too. Mayor, you spent too much on gifts for her already. Sis, I want to try some of this, too. Oh, dear. Have you not had enough to eat? I suppose... Given this is a special day, you must have one more treat. Yay, you're the best, sis. Yes, yes, I know. There's so many people here, it's making my head spin. But I guess that's not a bad thing, considering it is a festival. Woof, woof. What's this? A stray dog? Zach, I've come to thank you for what you did in order to save Archelio, Riveria, and As Divine. What the... Is that you, should I? That is all I have to say. Wait, just call me by my... Woof. Is this where you've been, Zach? Stella and the others were looking for you as the High Priestess is about to begin her part of the play. You might let them know you're... Uh, where you are. Thanks for letting me know. I'll do that. I'll see the rest of you around later, huh? You said it. Carried by the light, we are born into this world and embraced by the shadow we are taken from it. As one life ends its journey here, its heart and soul set out on another in a different sphere. However, this is not an eternal farewell. As long as you remember them, they will continue to live on. In our hearts. While I desire to say I am tired of hearing those the same lines, somehow this vessel is different from the others. That bit about our hearts reminded me what Zack said when we defeated the former deities. Yes, and what a wonderful job Celine did. What did you expect from the High Priestess? The reaction from you two is completely different compared to when it was me. You must be imagining things. Ha, <laughs> look, the guiding light is, uh, is going up. Now let us pray uh, those who are once loved by another will be guided to each other's be each other by this light. As divine, someday in the future. Come in. I apologize for my intrusion. Today I will be. Is there something the matter? What do you mean? It is you. It is you appear to be crying, is all. Huh? You're crying too. Yes, I am. My apologies. I'm. I am unsure as to why this is happening. Me either. But somehow this feels so familiar. Although this is the first time we've met, I feel as if I had been wishing to see you all this time. I also have the same feeling. Hmm. Then it seems we'll be. We'll get along just fine. By the way, my name is Alicia. It's a pretty name, don't you think? It's the same as the girl who said to have saved many lives long ago, uh, a long, long time ago. When I was born, my mother said that name popped into her head for some reason. How about yourself? What's your name? Yes, I was about to get to that. My name is... Um... Child rapist. Okay, we're destined together even though you're six. <laughs> I'm 20. <laughs> oh my goodness, we're at the end. I can't believe it. Wow, what a that was a longer journey than I really expected. Um, although it's sort of on par with all the other games. Um, you know, you always basically get 20 to 30 hours of gameplay um, for all the easy create games. And I think that's, that's just about right. I have to say that I think the original game is 
probably the better game. Um, well, at least the, the story seems like uh, it was um, a little bit more, a little bit more well told. Um, there's certainly not anything wrong with this game, and I think it's uh, I think it's a pretty good follow up to the, uh, to the original game. I just think that man, the, that last battle. I mean, yeah, yeah give me a break. And uh, not being able to get into so many areas on the first playthrough, I mean, that's ridiculous. At the very least, I should have been able to get to all those areas after uh, the uh, the normal story ending. Restricting it to even further along in the game, I, that's, that's not nice, man. I do like the fact that they aren't kicking the cat around so much. I never did like that about the original story. But overall, I think it's good, and I think uh, if you like the first one, you'll probably like this one. Maybe not as much, but uh, you'll still like it. And uh, I think that there's a, lot of, there's a lot of content here. It's well worth the money, and um, you know, I'm I'm happy I had the experience. Something looks like, it looks like it's falling. That last thing to look forward to here at the festival, the bouquet of fate. From the guiding light falls a bouquet, and tradition has it, the girl who catches it will be bound to love the man standing nearest to her forever. Bound by love? The man standing nearest to her? Then I'll be the one to get it. I think this is where showing my true ability comes in. There's nothing I can not obtain if I so desire. I'm not giving up either. Huh? Zack Potter? What happens in this situation? This is where we end the festivities. Sleep! Hey, wait! Oh, Celine, what's the matter? Are you feeling sick? No, uh, that's, that's not it at all. Not that bouquet. You mean this? Who thought it'd come... You thought it'd come to me, of all people. It was pretty, I was pretty surprised it fell into my hands, to be honest. Zack, do you know the legend about that? Actually, I heard about it from Stella, except that only applies if a girl catches it, right? Since I'm a guy, how's it supposed to work? While it is uncommon, there has been a case where a man has caught it in the past. Really? What happened with him? He married the High Priestess, or so the story goes. The High Priestess, huh? You're suddenly so quiet. Me? I, uh, I was, uh, uh, hoping for that to be the case for yourself. Uh, is that how you feel too? Me? Celine, I don't think I'm the nice guy you take me to be. I don't go out and buy gifts for people every time I visit a certain town or village. Nor do I ditch my companions to go chase after some girl. Uh, Celine, it's you I like. And if you have any feelings for me, like... I do for you. I'd like to hear it from your own mouth. I do. I have feelings for you myself, Zach. One year later. I guess this is good goodbye, isn't it, Selene? It's sad not to... It's... It would be sad not having you here in the castle anymore. I will also miss the familiar sights, sounds, and people myself, Your Majesty. I can't believe we won't be able to see each other every day anymore. Zack Idleweiss. Yeah? I still haven't recognized you as a as the husband of my sister. You had better watch her back on moonless nights, moonlit nights, or even in broad daylight. Uh, I'll be sure to do that. Olivia, I ask you not to begrudge him. I love him myself. Therefore, to hear such things come from you saddens me deeply. Celine, I know you cherish me as your sister, and for that I am grateful beyond measure. I also know I cannot repay you for everything you have done for me. However, I do wish to remain on good terms, and for you to allow me to live my life as I see fit. Of course, that's what I intend to do. But no, I'm going to write you every single day. Although I will leave in the castle, I will still remain in the city. Therefore, uh, therefore, I will not be far away. Even still, I'm going to write you. And then I look forward to your letters. I'll be looking forward to them. What do you say we get going, Celine? Yes, to our new home. Zack and Sleeve's home. 
I got the furniture set up for the most part now, but there's something missing. And since Lumiere is out for a walk, maybe it's time I did some shopping. I appreciate that. However, before you go, there is something I wish to speak to you about. Uh, alright, what? Actually... <laughs> what the? That's not a stuffed animal? <laughs> I wish to have this animal live with us. <laughs> ah! I truly intend to discuss the matter with you beforehand. However, the friend I received him from was in a hurry, and I did not have time to speak with you about it. Well, Lumiere seems to get along with other animals, so you'll get no complaints from me. But I thought you had an aversion to animals. I mean, I guess you've gotten pretty used to having Lumiere around at all, but what if you change your mind? You are right about my fear of animals. To be truthful, I almost feel like running away from this one myself. Then why not take it back? Because I do not intend for this animal to be merely a pet, but a member of our family. I feel if I'm able to look at this animal in that way, then I'll be able to become used to him, although it will take some time. You have my word. Alright, then I'll do what I can to help. Let's make this work for the both of us. I appreciate that. Oof. <laughs> First, let's start with being able to look him in the face. Yes. There's also one other reason I desire to keep this animal. One other reason? The reason for my fear of animals is because, as a child, I was attacked by a dog. Therefore, I believe if our child has a dog around from the time they are born, it will not be a problem. That makes sense. Uh, what do you mean by our child? Celine? What do you think it, think it means? Sounds like I better start making a better living. Yes, however, do not overwork yourself. I am also concerned about your health. Therefore, I must ask you. Provide me with some of your time as well. Celine, let's make this family a happy one. Yes. As divine hearts, uh, Celine, true ending. Yay! Oh man, are we gonna have to work for the all the other endings? Oh, holy shit, man, I don't wanna do that. <laughs> All right, so there you go. Uh, that was uh, As of My Heart Sleen's true ending. I think it'll be a while before I try to get everybody else's true ending. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching. I will see you at the next stream.